All right, I'm going to be showing you how to make a green flame that's relatively safe using boric acid and methanol. Um, for this experiment, I'm going to be using a Hotshot brand Roach Killer. Uh, it's a powder, and it's 99% boric acid. Not sure what the other 1% is. I have a feeling it's diametaceous earth. Um, our methanol will be coming from Heat Brand Gasoline Antifreeze and Water Remover. It's mostly methanol. Now you're going to want a uh, nice heat resistant container. I'm going to be using a Pyrex container inside a steel bowl. And you're going to want to do this in a well ventilated area, preferably outside. Um, keep in mind it's it's fire, it's going to burn real hot and it's going to give off white smoke not a whole lot but enough that you're you're not going to want to do this inside without a vent uh, fan you're going to want to keep costumes away from it and everything I'm gonna kind of mix it up a little. Pour the uh, pour some heat in there. Try that back up so the fumes don't give us a problem. The fumes themselves from the methyl uh, from the methanol could could be flammable on their own. It's an accelerant, but it could light up on its own. I'm gonna dump a little bit of that uh, boric acid in there. swirl it around a little, mix it up. And what this is doing is creating a chemical reaction and the boric acid and methanol are turning into trimethyl borate and water. And it's the trimethyl borate really that we're, uh, that we're using here. And the, uh, the like I said, the methanol will burn itself, and that burns a bit blue. But uh, the borate or the trimethyl borate will overpower that with a green color. And you saw there was a bit of a flash over there. I let it sit a little too long. You want to light it pretty fast so the, the fumes don't accumulate. See that can make a very nice effect at a like a Halloween pool party or something. At some point, I may uh, make some videos for other colors too. Most other colors can be pretty safely created. Uh, this uh, this doesn't burn too long. So it's a pretty temporary effect, like maybe when all your guests are walking in or something. But it really catches the eye. And it's a good conversation starter. I wouldn't recommend just leaving this out next to uh, candy for trick-or-treaters or something. This, this burns pretty darn hot. You don't want a kid thinking it's some sort of holographic display or something and putting their hand in it and burning them. Pretty cool.